What's up? Welcome back to the channel. We got snow. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull out the 1990 Wheel Horse 520H. It's got a 36 inch to 42 inch snow thrower on it. It's got a motorized uh, chute and that just spins back and forth. Did that a few years ago. Yeah, so we're gonna get that out today. I'm gonna try and get a little riding video. Why not, you know? So, uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I mean, come on back, check out what we're going on, what we got going on. Don't forget to smash the like button. I always appreciate that. So, I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about the tractor. Okay, so like I said, this is a 1990 Wheel Horse 520H. If you guys have never seen this, I got a few videos of it on the channel. I got this thing and it was beat up. And it's, you know, it's gotten a little bit more beat up since I used it, uh, since I've had it. Uh, the tire, the rims are definitely due for an actual powder coating. I used paint. Um, didn't sandblast them, didn't have a sandblaster. Wire wheeled them, blah, blah, blah. So I got this thing out a couple days ago and brought it all the way. I've been having a hard time trying to start it for the last like month. And I thought it was the battery, but long story short, I get it up here and it dies. I checked the compression. It's got 128 in the back and uh, 125 in the front. So... Then I checked um, the fuel, and it, the plugs were dry, and they looked foul. So I cleaned those, put it, put those back in. Didn't really want to start. So I took the carb, I took the air box off, looked in the carb, and there was like orange fuel in there. And I could have swore that I put fresh fuel in this thing not that long ago. Um, I may have mixed it a little bit though, so I'm not sure if there's like a separation thing going on there or what, but because it ran fine up until, you know few weeks ago so anyways uh cleaned out the whole fuel system drained the tank blew everything out put it all back together filled the carb up it fired up and um it started uh just acting weird and then it wouldn't start so like i said I test test the uh, compression i clean the fuel and so i test spark and it had like intermittent spark so i pulled the, the, the spark plug wires off tested the coil and it was going back and forth from zero ohms to open like it would stay at zero and then it'd go open 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 it's real weird i was like okay it's gotta be the coil so i pulled the coil off i got another one in the back i ended up putting the coil on there that one tested great so the the wires tested uh like just under six for the long one just under three for the short one put it all back together fired right up i was like sweet died after like there maybe a minute or no it started puffing and puffing and puff, 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 so I pull it in here and start pulling things apart. And, uh, and I knew it had to be fuel. So there was a little tiny piece of something, almost looked like plastic or something, that was in between the valve seat and the inlet valve. So put that back together, didn't want to start. Came out the next day <laughs> and uh, blew, because I, I blew in with compressed air, I blew into the valve seat. Or no, I blew in the inlet, uh, the inlet tube. So if there was anything, I wasn't even thinking about it. So it must have, there must have been some other stuff in there, and that's why, because it's like the the um, pump itself. It's almost like there was back pressure, and it didn't want to pump fuel into the line where I, you know, in through the clear um, fuel filter. So I cleared all that out. I blew it out f from the inside so i blew into the valve seat and it blew i don't say i don't want to say i blew a bunch of stuff out but that cured the issue so there must have been something in there so i got out yesterday did some so what we're gonna do today is i'm gonna try and get some riding video so you know not the most exciting stuff but yeah, might be kind of cool to see how it turns out so and don't forget to smash the like button always appreciate that you guys have been treating the channel awesome let's keep sharing watching the videos passing them on to people you think might be able to get a kick out of them and oh that was kind of cool Got the dryer on. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So a little bit more about the tractor. It, um, I just have a window motor on there, and then I get it hooked up with a little pulley, and then uh, a little cog to drive belt. There's a cog in there, and then I got some rollers here. And then it just, you know, it's, sure, it's electric, so I got it hooked up to a little switch there. And uh, yeah, it does pretty good. It doesn't seem like it wants, like, I don't think that whole setup's very powerful. So if it's wet and nasty, it doesn't really want to turn 
very well either way when it gets loaded up around there but because it was super wet yesterday so we're gonna try and see what we can do today get a little video there's the setup and hey i got something new on my helmet here not gonna be able to use it today but this is from bite harder these are red leds and it plugs right into your helmet heater power so red LEDs. I'm the leader in my group, so I figured that'd be a good way to allow my family to see exactly where I'm at. So all the reviews said that, yeah, I mean, they're visible from quite far away, so. And then on the back here, I have 125 pounds of weight. And I got obviously got the hitch on there. This thing really helps. The counterbalance, the thrower there. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Choke it up, a little bit of throttle.
<laughs> it came off! came off. I need to get this hydraulic. What? The pin came off. There we go.
Ôi sao I know, I almost got stuck inside my balaclava. My balaclava. <laughs> Alright. It's cold out. It's about 23 degrees, 25. 23, 25 degrees. Uh, did good. The only hiccup I ran into with it was this little cotter pin came out. The one that was in there was pretty old, and it was all loose, so I got a brand new one, stuck it in there, but, yeah, I got it ahead, greased everything, greased everything all up the other day, and, uh, yeah, thing runs great. It's a powerhouse, got so much power, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, you know, something that was just a little different, kind of cool, uh, for to try and get some riding video of the 520H, so. Alright guys, take care. Uh, hope you guys stay safe. Everybody um, stay warm. If you got snow, when you got cold. Uh, if not, we'll see you guys in the next video. So make sure you subscribe, hit the alert bell, smash the like button. We'll see you in the next video. So take care. Come on back. God bless.